I'm excited to share that we've launched NEMI's second Reconciliation Action Plan, the 2022 to 2024 Innovate Wrap. To ensure that NEMI is delivering culturally safe and appropriate services, we strive to improve the ways we engage with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities around the country. Our Reconciliation Action Plan guides us in this goal and affirms our commitment to building strong and respectful relationships, governance and partnerships with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and their communities around the country. It's through the introduction of Indigenous governance principles outlined in the Reconciliation Action Plan that we have a clear framework for creating true power sharing partnerships with Indigenous communities. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners on whose lands I am on today, the Jai Jai Waring of the Kulin Nation, and extend that respect to the elders whose lands you are on today and to note that sovereignty was never ceded. So what have we achieved with our first round? The 2019-21 Innovate Wrap planted the seeds for reconciliation at NEMI, allowing a space for us as individuals and as an organisation to truly understand what reconciliation is and to deconstruct the current paradigms that imprison us and do not allow us to move forward. Jesse and I are excited to launch NEMI's second reconciliation action plan, the 2022-24 Innovate Wrap. This wrap goes much further by taking a more complete and holistic view of what reconciliation truly embodies. This is an exciting wrap which introduces Indigenous governance ideologies to the organisation and aligns to our strategic direction and implementation into our program and service design. NEMI sets a high benchmark on how all organisations should work with Indigenous communities and working towards real reconciliation. I'm a Wagadagam Yuan man uh, here on uh, Gadigal Bidjigal country here in Sydney. But our second wrap's done, walking into 2022 now, has allowed us to build on a uh, foundation of um, Indigenous governance. Um, from there, we're able to better engage with local communities and make sure that um, we don't just class all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people into one group and we don't just all um, assume that because you're North, South, East or West, we're all the same in this country. It's, it's more mindful, it's more respectful of the uh, of the way we work, of the, our different cultures, it's respectful of our governance systems, it's respectful of our of our ways of being, our ways of knowing our belief systems and, way of do, and ways of doing things within community. So what this allows us to do is make sure that across our 80 different sites across the country, uh, we're mindful that we're working on different countries, we're working with different people, working with different nations and different ways of doing things, and to make sure that for each of those uh, unique spaces and these unique uh, unique peoples, we're able to work in the best way possible, putting them at the forefront and making sure that they help guide us through um, with, with any action that takes place within their communities. I look forward to working together with me, my teams and setting a new benchmark for reconciliation. Remember, each of us has an important part to play as an individual in contributing to the success of this reconciliation action plan. So please, Take the time to familiarise yourself with it and reflect on the role that you can play in helping us all bring it to life.